I'm Lindsay and this is Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style or your budget, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's get into today's festive project, a sparkly and kind of chic t-shirt. I know what you're thinking. A t-shirt can't possibly be fancy enough for a holiday party, but I hope by now you can trust that I'm only going to bring out the best of each type of garment in this series. And a t-shirt, especially a sparkly one, absolutely belongs in a list of holiday inspired outfits. So let's open our minds to the possibilities of a fancy t-shirt and see what I found. Okay, so ready to wear inspiration comes from from J. Crew as one option. This is a sequin embellished t-shirt, striped. Uh, was $80, now it's $40 for their Black Friday. But when we go to remake this, there's a couple things I want you to notice here. One is that it is a set-in sleeve but kind of a slouchy oversized version of a set-in sleeve. The sleeve is not sitting on top of her arm. It's not a fitted sleeve at all. The body is kind of boxy. And something else that I thought was really interesting and very doable for a home sewist is the neck band, the sleeve band, and the hem band are all rib knit. So it's all like a separate fabric. You're not actually hemming the sequin fabric at all. Um, which I think A, makes it easier to sew, but B, also makes it a lot more comfortable. Like you don't want those sequins turned under to the wrong side. That would just be very itchy, it seems. And I'll show you an example of that um, with our next ready to wear inspiration, but you can get an idea. These are actually black sequins and white sequins, okay, alternated. Um, and where, I guess we're gonna go here, full details. Um, 100% cotton, which isn't true because sequins are not cotton, but hand wash, imported, embellished with light reflecting details and striped pattern and crafted from 100% cotton. So I guess the base of the sequin fabric is cotton and then the sequins are attached to it. Um, so it's comfortable and eye catching. I would agree that it's probably very, very, very comfortable to do it this way. The other way to do it is like this version from Frame, originally $400, now 130 with an extra 40% off at checkout. But you can see a couple differences here. One, the fabric here is striped and then there are clear sequins on top of it. I think this gives the look of it almost being like water or metallic. I don't know, it looks like more shiny in a way. I prefer this type over this this you see how this version here just looks a little bit muddled right it doesn't look as crisp and clean whereas this one is super super clear your stripes are very defined this one they've used a facing so this part of the sequence does touch your body i don't know how comfortable that will be especially for people who are just a little bit more sensitive to that kind of thing but also the shape of it is a little bit different as well. It is boxy still. It does have kind of like a drop shoulder situation still, but it does taper in a little bit as well, kind of giving you a little bit of shape. Um, but there's no darts, none of that going on. It's just kind of slowly tapered in from this like drop shoulder situation. This is also a long sleeve version where the other one wasn't. So Taking inspiration from both of these, I would construct it more like this one with the bands um, so that no sequin is touching your body, but I kind of prefer the shape of this one. So you pick your poison, take the, su the suggestion I'm making or make this version or make this version. Either way, you're gonna need some kind of basic top pattern. Uh, you probably already have one in your stash. There's a million free ones, like really great free ones out there. You just want to make sure that it's a little bit slouchy, a little bit oversized. And then I chose this one if you're going to be buying one because it doesn't have a shoulder seam at all. It just has this drop shoulder. So 
super easy to sew. You would just add your band here, add your band here, and then straighten this out and add your band on the bottom. If you wanted to add a little sleeve to this, you could do that. You would just measure this opening and that it would be a one-to-one -one ratio for the tube that becomes your sleeve opening and you just attach that there. So a lot of options here, but again, there's a ton of free ones as well and it's very basic. So you probably already have one in your stash. Um, and I think these might require a yard and a half at most. Um, this one for A, 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 yeah, we have, yeah, okay, so up to two yards. Um, this one must be very slouchy. Let's see, bust is 32 and a half, so four inches of ease. Yeah, that probably, that actually feels right. Maybe it's very long. Um, are we going to get, let's see if we get any pictures of it without this little coat on. We don't. Okay. So yeah, hard to tell exactly how long it is. Oh, it does look like, maybe that's like high hip. Whereas ours are, this is hitting high hip and this one is never on a body, but I mean, you can tell it's, it's hitting, like if this is the waistline, it's hitting right here. So probably a high hip situation as well. So this one reduced by a few inches, you could probably get it in the one and a half to two inch range. Okay, so fabric wise, look what I found. A striped faux sequin jersey. All right, so this is exactly like the frame version where the fabric is striped and then they have clear sequins on top. I think that's why they're calling it faux sequin. Um, if we look at this a little bit closer, you can see, or it might not even be sequins. I think it might actually be those little like clear reflective sticker things, which are actually even easier to sew. Um, but it does definitely give kind of the look of this version here, right? With the clear sequins on top of the, on top of the stripe. And because this is an actual sequins, then it's like super comfortable to wear because the inside is just the jersey but you can see how they're not actually sewn on. They're just like, you know what I mean? You've seen this before, just like the little, I don't know, they're almost like little plasticky stickers, I guess, that are just stuck on to the fabric. Um, and it is $18 a yard. There's only nine of it in stock, so you guys go, go, go if you, <laughs> if you love this. They also have this version, which is a wider stripe which you might like better. Some people feel like wider stripes just look better on them, like more flattering. Anyway, no picture. I don't know why that's happening, but poly span fabric, 58 to 60 inches wide. Um, dang it. Why is there no picture? Okay. So same thing, just wider stripe and it still has a little plasticky stickers on it. All right. So super, super simple to sew. You don't have to remove the, um, sequins from the seam allowances you can probably just sew right over this just anyways you guys get the idea thanks for joining me for today's festive project i hope recreating this sparkly t-shirt sparked some inspiration for your holiday sewing don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a pointel pajama set i can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion happy sewing i'll see you all very soon